коллеги, начинаем нашу пресс-конференцию. С нами главный тренер Зенита Чави Паскалик, коуч Congratulations on the win, and you continue to be the leader of the league. Thank you very much. First of all, we are happy for what we did tonight, uh, today. Uh, I think we we did uh, we played a serious game defensively and offensively. We had the control in, of the game at almost 40 minutes, but in the last part of the of the game, last five minutes, we start to lose a little bit the control. We had some open shots that we didn't score. Cheska attack uh, excellent on the first seconds. They changed the rhythm of the game and they had possibilities to to be back. But finally, I think that uh, we deserve uh, today to win, and finally we, we achieved this important game for us. Мы рады тому, как мы сыграли и в нападении, и в защите. Я считаю, что мы контролировали этот матч на протяжении почти 40 минут. Мы, в принципе, конечно, в концовке ЦСКА смог подтянуться, они смогли изменить ритм, мы не попали отдельные открытые броски, но тем не менее мы удержали эту победу и считаю, что это заслуженный результат. Coach, we have some questions from the journalists. Uh, first of all, it wasn't supposed to be uh, the close at the end, uh, what do you think? Like after having probably plus 15, I think, in the last quarter. Yeah, everything changed in this situation that uh, we lost a little bit the rhythm in this situation that we stopped the game like five minutes for instant replay. And uh, we stopped to play uh, after that. We were another team. We were leading, I think, in that moment by 14 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And we stopped to score. We stopped to play in aggressive. We lose a little bit the like, concentration in this moment. I don't know exactly why. But uh, finally, it's like this. We were, <laughs> we were playing against one, one amazing team that uh, today is Cheska uh, had um, a lot of uh, injured players, so this is obvious. But uh, the players that, that also they play to, today, they have amazing quality. And obviously, in the last part of the game, they play better than us. And the game was close because of this. Uh, will any players uh, go to the national teams? Uh, this this situation is uh, this question is not exactly for me. Um, uh, this question is uh, between clubs, and of course, all all the clubs will want to help the national team, as I did in all my in all my career with all the teams that I have been in Barcelona. Uh, I was helping the national team in in Greece over here. As more as possible, we will help uh, the the national team, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, the last question is about uh, Hlastov. Uh, how is he, uh, okay. is he expect, expected to play some? Yes, uh, he, he did two, two full practice with the team, so only two. But day by day he's a little bit better and okay, now he needs time to practice and to start to feel the game. But it's a good news for us because he's one player that can help us in some situations. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you. Коллеги, продолжаем нашу пресс-конференцию. Стоять на ЦСКА, с нами защитник Данил Хэкет и главный тренер Дмитрий Сукудис. Мы, как обычно, сначала дадим слово игроку. First of all, uh, we'll let players speak a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Дани, uh, tell us, how did you see this game? I uh, want to give congratulations uh, to Zenit for coming here and uh, playing a solid game. They've proved that uh, they uh, a very, very good team that uh, plays a uh, good basketball. Um, although I want to say that um, uh, I wish we could have had the first uh, half back uh, to perform to our level. Uh, I thought we uh, didn't perform the way we could and um, uh, defensively and offensively uh, we did not um, put a big effort into the game. Uh, the second half showed a totally different picture. Um, we picked up the ball starting from Homa, all the guys followed and uh, I thought that uh, the effort was good. Uh, twice we reduced the gap, and uh, at the end we gave ourselves a chance to uh, to tie the game. And uh, it came down to details. Uh, statistically wise, I think uh, the game was pretty even. They they have a few boards uh, more than us, but overall it's a, a game of details down the end. And um, we, you know we have uh, time to get better, to work. Um, New guys are coming in. We got to do a good effort of uh, introducing them to the system and, uh, you know, staying positive. Мы не очень хорошо начали этот матч. В первой половине были не на своем уровне, не в защите, не в нападении. 
Во-вторых, мы постепенно набрали ритм, пришли с энергией, там, Хоменко нам помог очень в этом. И постепенно мы сокращали этот отрыв, имели свои шансы в конце, там все было к деталям. Почему нам не удалось победить? Я считаю, что в принципе разница между командами статистически была не такая большой, не такой большой сегодня в этом матче. И сейчас у нас есть время на то, чтобы подготовиться, на то, чтобы наших новичков втянуть в систему и продолжить играть как команда. Дани, я have one question for you. I hate this question, but I think it's, it's pretty obvious. Uh, this last moment, you had this moment against Zelenogura, you had this moment uh, today. Uh, what, what, what's happening? What, what's going on? What, what oh. do you mean, what's happening? Uh, when Dani almost lost the ball. To yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, honestly, I, uh, I hesitated, and in those moments you, you should not hesitate. I was expecting Ponikta to, to foul, so I was trying to read what he was doing, and uh, uh, you know he caught me off guard. Uh, thank God I was able to put my hands back on the ball and uh, force a jump ball. And uh, uh, okay, Zilona Gora, this uh, this is in the past. Uh, obviously, I, I take pride in what I do, take responsibility. Uh, but you know, uh, I will not back down. If I had another chance, I will try to do the best thing uh, for the team to win the game. Okay, thank you, guys. Uh, I will. Uh, first of all, Danny said it all, and this is exactly what we said in the locker room. So, congratulations to Zenit and Xavi and his staff. Um, um, I can't be mad on my players, but I can be. I can regret on the lapses we had, uh, especially on the second quarter. Um, defensively and offensively, we were we were soft, and the circumstances. But in general, the jersey we wear, it, it cannot uh, allow any anybody. Uh, those that they are present here and those that they're not playing due to the injury or other circumstances, nobody has a right not to defend that jersey and not to to play hard. So those are the lapses we had. It gave the opportunity to a very quality teams and it to, to to take the lead and go to the double digits, if I'm not mistaken, plus 16, um, the biggest lead exactly. Uh, so they score a lot of points and turnovers. There were a lot of sloppy plays on our defense, but we then uh, on the third quarter, you know, everybody was like kind of disappointed. We are now. Not, not everybody, but I will say this. We're in a situation that a lot of players that they have a certain role into the team and a different role to the team, they're, they're, they're called now to take rabbits out of their heads, you know? So, and that's not easy to become. So yeah, Homa had a good looks. He missed some, some shots or this and that, and also in, in the college game. But all of a sudden now that second unit got to take pick up and do things. Homa, what is good at right now is to you know, play hell of a defense, and I think that this is start from there, and we show a character, even though the quarter end ended again with minus um, three, if I'm not mistaken, exactly, it shows us the way, and that's why the team never gave up, even though it was uh, plus uh, 16 for, for Zanit. So I think that uh, I'll take the positive uh, fact from uh, out of that, uh, waiting for, um, for the... Uh, players to gather again because this team had proved, our team had proved that when we're all together healthy, mind and body, first of all starts from here, uh, we can play a good basketball. So um, uh, I think that that period uh, that we have a uh, postponed game and new guys in, uh, we're going to work on, on that. Uh, we have also the windows of national teams, which we understand also, but this will put us a little bit back on, on the unity. We cannot work all together, uh, but it is what it is. Прежде всего, Дани сказал более или менее все, что можно было сказать. Мы примерно об этом говорили в раздевалке. И я хочу просто поздравить Чави с победой. Я не могу сегодня злиться на свою команду. Команда сегодня боролась. Да, есть вещи, которые очень сильно расстраивают. Там, в частности, наши провалы во второй четверти. Я считаю, что такие моменты, когда мы довольно мягко играли и в защите, и в нападении, не должен позволять себе игрок, который носит майку ЦСКА. Тем не менее, во второй половине мы действительно начали с другой энергии. И сейчас многим игрокам приходится выполнять не те роли, к которым они привыкли по ходу сезона из-за большого количества травмированных. И вот в частности Хоменко, да, он может быть сегодня не попал где-то по кольцу, и там в Гескале он не попал, но он сыграл отличную защиту. И мы начали подтягиваться, и даже при том, что после этого Зенит выиграл четверть в плюс три и ушел на плюс 16 в начале четвертой, мы поняли, как 
как мы можем с ними справляться, как мы можем играть, это помогло нам в дальнейшем. И мы возьмем из этого лучшее. Да, сейчас у нас определенный перерыв, будут только на национальные команды, мы где-то не сможем все равно собраться вместе, но э, нам эта игра э, показала, что мы, когда мы здоровы, и физически, и ментально, мы э, можем показывать очень хороший баскетбол. Получай, я сейчас сам точно спою из Вэлл. Что план на следующие недели? Это как очень большой перерыв между играми. I already said uh, about, uh, you know, we got to see who we have because national team is asking players and we, we respect that. And by the way, sorry to interrupt you, uh, the, one of the questions was also about the national team. So if, if you know already who's coming to the national team, so you can mention It's the players that they ask. So whatever they ask, we do. We respect as a club. But that will not uh, help us on uh, getting the uh, unity. Uh, will Clyburn show some life? Uh, it's not on his level, definitely, but he wanted to play and he, was, he, he feels good. So that's the first positive thing. We've got a new uh, guys coming uh, onto the team and we've got to walk them in on, on Monday, first of all, with our system, defensive and offensive. It's not going to be easy. Um, we've got Toko that he's already doing his re rehab and he's doing better as well. So we hope that he's going to be somewhere in the middle of, uh, of the week uh, with the team on uh, contact uh, practice. And uh, Mike, that he's uh, going to be from States coming after this devastating news that he had. Uh, I talked with him yesterday. Um, and uh, due to the postponed game, uh, we granted uh, him a couple days more. So he's going to be over here. Uh, uh, he flies from Tuesday, so Wednesday he's going to be over here. So as you understand, with all these obstacles we have, do I have to summarize it? Mike in States. Toko still injured. Uh, Will is coming from rehabilitation. Uh, uh, and the national team players. So we're going to try to work, like in between work, break, uh, video, and then uh, I hope everybody healthy, uh, ready on the next week, because you asked me about the, the second week, that we have to uh, go and uh, play a very difficult opponent, Olympia Coast on the road. So I hope that we're going to be all together over there for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to work um, together. After all these things, national teams, injuries and loading, uh, and uh, try to be focused on the, on the next thing. For us, it's a kind of restart. Let's be honest. That's a kind of restart. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a time, but if we show this uh, character we, we had in the last moments over here in this game and in the uh, crucial moments, then uh, we need to be positive on that. And uh, the last question, a little bit philosophical. Uh, this is the first time in BCB League history that CSKA lost five games in the regular season. Uh, can you say that this is the toughest year uh, since you came uh, to the team? Uh, this is not because of the losses, the, uh, the toughest season. Uh, I assume that this journalist that he asked is pretty much aware of what are the struggles we're going through. Of course, of course. This, is, this is what he means. So, right? yeah. I assume that he knows it's a tough moment. But tough moments defines you after that how, how define, defines the, the character of the, the team and how you go out there and, uh, and make your day at work worth it. Uh, when the results are coming through the tough moments, then they're more sweeter, are more, we're putting more value to, to those moments and for us as a club, that we know from inside what problems we're facing. We're here to face adversities. We're here to embrace those problems, like to, to, to own it. We own those problems, right? And we got to go through that. We're going to find a way, we're going to go through that, and we're going to lift again. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.